E and E here. We're seeing something strange regarding Oco T4 Crowns. Oco T4 Crowns was banned last Monday. We're seeing something strange because contrary to my prediction, we're seeing that the price of the card instead of going down, which what which what usually is being we experience when a card is being banned from a particular format, instead of going down in price, the card is increasing in price. And this is very, very unusual. We have seen from other ban BNRs, we are seeing that every card that is being banned usually loses a lot of value just because obviously it is banned in a particular format, especially standard or modern. But in case of Oco T4 Crowns, we're seeing an increase in the price instead of a decrease in the price. And this is also in the borderless card version of the card. Borderless cards version, these cards are much rare to find than the normal cards. In my opinion, they are, this, they are the same cards, not only opinions, they are the same cards. Only, in my opinion, these cards should be only targeting collectors. And these cards, they are only targeting players. So if I want to play Oco Thief of Crowns, I wouldn't use a borderless that is much more expensive. I will use the normal card. They do the same thing, so why spend more money to play the card? As I said, we're seeing a decree, an increase in price. We saw a big increase in price as soon as Field of the Dead was banned. Obviously, when Field of the Dead was banned, everyone was gearing towards an Oco standard deck. The card was decreasing in price only because the card was so much powerful that everyone deemed the card that is going to be banned and actually it was banned and the price dropped to around $30. Now, instead of dropping more, instead of dropping more in price, that is 20 or 15, what I have predicted, we're seeing an increase in price and currently being traded at around $45. Why? Why this is happening? There's a valid reason. The reason is this. A lot of players, they knew, everyone knew, in the last couple of weeks, everyone knew that all oh, of Counts will, will be banned. Beyond that, beyond that November 18, everyone expect, was expecting the card to be banned and everyone was not buying Oco Thief of Crowns. Let's say no one would have risk 50, 45, 40, 35, 30 dollars to buy a card that will eventually get banned in standard. So no one was buying this card. Prices were being slashed. As I said, the card had the highest value was around $70, it went down to $65, to $60, to $55, $50, $45, $40, until before the band, a couple of days before the band, I think it had a price of around $28. Then, when the card was banned, everyone was expecting the price to drop further. When they didn't saw that the card didn't drop, everyone was buying this card. Everyone wants a copy of this card only because it's a very powerful card, it's a very good card, both in Pioneer and also in other formats like Modern. If you want one of these copy, currently it's around $45. Obviously, Oco Thief of Crowns, until it is banned in other formats, which in my opinion, I don't think it will see a modern ban. A Pioneer ban, I think it is reasonable, but still we don't have a ban in Pioneer and I don't think we will see a ban in Pioneer, at least in the coming weeks. The card will continue to increase in price, so be aware, even though this card is banned in standard, it is a very strong card in Pioneer and in Modern, and it was really true, it was a surprise for me not to see this card going down in price after the ban, but now that things make a lot of logic, a lot of sense, now it makes sense that, if, that as the card is very strong in Pioneer and in Modern, and even in other formats, I think the price will not drop, but it will continue to increase. You can leave me a comment below if you agree with me. If you agree that all Cote of Crowns was underestimated, if you agree with me that everyone was waiting for a 
drastic drop in price to begin buying this card and after the ban we didn't saw the drastic drop in price and now everyone wants to buy this card therefore when you have demand and supply stable or fixed the price will increase and here there's a subscription button subscribe for my channel for more interesting videos like this one about magic the gathering and the collectible world